I mean, obviously Mortal Kombat is a movie that in some regards is dated, but it still holds up pretty good because I think a bone crunching fight, is still a bone crunching fight, you know, a good fight's a good fight and it doesn't matter when it was shot. Um, you know, good CG, you know, that dates really fast. Did anything get cut out because you were pushing the technology so much? I mean, the Goro puppet, uh, I think you have talked about being notoriously, it's like the Jaws shark of the 90s in some way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was rewatching the film and you get Liu Kang floating through the air thanks to wire work and doing his big kick move. And that's awesome. I'm just wondering if there's something that, that couldn't happen just because of what making a movie in the mid 90s was like. You know, I, I've always been somebody who tries to limit the amount of CG in a in a movie. I mean, even back then, you know, the, the reason for it was it was very, very expensive, you know. But but I think if you can do things practically, you know, they, they have more impact. And they also stand the test of time. I mean, obviously, Mortal Kombat is a movie that in some regards is dated. But it still holds up pretty good because I think a bone-crunching fight is still a bone-crunching fight, you know. A good fight's a good fight, and it doesn't matter when it was shot. Um, you know, good CG, you know, that dates really fast. You know, what is cutting edge CG? You look at it 10 years later and you go, oh my God, that's deeply embarrassing. Um, so we tried to do as much as possible on Mortal Kombat for real. You know, we went to amazing locations in Thailand. Um, we, we built big sets in Hollywood. You know, we tried to put as much on screen for real as we could. Um, and that's why we went to wire work and uh, tried to stay away from CG. You know, we, Goro was an interesting case in point. You know, he was really difficult to work with because he was a big, complicated animatronic. Real diva. And, um, but, you know, he's, he, he was a diva. All the actors hated <laughs> him because he was always the last guy to, to kind of come out of his trailer, as it were. Red m um, demanded in his rider. So. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, what we got was reality. You know, I could do an over-the-shoulder shot with Goro um, of, of, like, Trevor Goddard playing K Kano. And he's really there. You're really shooting over his shoulder. You know, it's not composite that kind of in 10 years time looks really, really dated. And I think doing it practical like that with some CG enhancement, which we did with his lips to kind of help with the lip sync, I think ultimately was the best way to shoot him because if the guy really holds up, you know, he still looks pretty decent now. 